Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today, Apple has seeded iOS 12.1.2 Beta 1 to registered developers. Now, I wanted to take today to do a quick jailbreak update and recap of some of the latest information we have pertaining to an iOS 12 jailbreak. Now, there have been some major updates that's happened over this last weekend since I made my last video about iOS 12.1.1 but the majority of the information remains true. Anyway guys, if you don't have time to watch this entire video, definitely check out our website, give this video a huge thumbs up, and subscribe for future updates pertaining to jailbreaking. All right, well let's get directly into today's news. Well, let's start out with iOS 12.1.2. The developer beta is right here. If you guys wanna install the developer beta profile, links will be down below in this video's description, but essentially you just install the same iOS 12 beta profile if you guys wanna install. But I'm sure a lot of you are coming to this video wondering what is new in iOS 12.1.2 before you actually install, if it's worth updating to, or if it's safe to update if you guys wanna jailbreak. And like always, definitely if you wanna jailbreak in the near future, avoid this update with all costs. Now it seems like Apple's been a bit more conservative this year with build number versions, despite rolling out new features. At the same time last year, we were already on iOS 11.2. This year we're on iOS 12.1.2. So a point of a point update, but in any case, there are still a few changes. Well, let's go over the basics. Let me turn down the brightness here. It looks like that's a bit too bright. Anyway, as you guys can see, iOS 12.1.2 is released. I have the beta profile installed. It looks like it's 2.77 gigabytes updating from a public version of iOS 12. I'm on iOS 12.0. Again, I'm staying on the lowest iOS 12 version possible to ensure I have the best chances to jailbreak. And I've yet to install this. I'm not going to install this on my phone, but I have been doing some research and I can let you guys know that really this point of a point update isn't adding too much, at least outward facing changes to the OS. There's no new features. Really, no one's really even found any UI changes, little settings changes or anything like that. It looks like this entire update is for bug fixes and improvements and just security enhancements. Everything that's going on with this update is under the hood. But like I've been saying throughout this video and I'll say it multiple times, if you guys are intending on jailbreaking in the near future, definitely avoid this update because all of the patches that were just recently implemented in iOS 12.1.1 are going to push through to this latest update as well. And that's something major to consider because it looks like we're going to be getting a sub iOS 12.1.1 jailbreak, meaning iOS 12.1 and below seems to be the key spot to be. Really, it's hard to say on iOS 12.0, 12.0.1, or 12.1, which one's going to be receiving a jailbreak first. Um, in any case, definitely stay on iOS 12.1 or below. Do not update to iOS 12.1.1. 12.1.1 or this developer beta that was just released today if you guys want to jailbreak your new phones relatively soon. Now, if you guys saw my video on iOS 12.1.1, you guys will know that there was a ton of stuff patched in that update, but for those of you who missed that video, there were five major kernel vulnerabilities that were patched by Apple that could potentially have led to a jailbreak five. That is a ton for one little update. So definitely stay on iOS 12.1 or below if you guys are intending on jailbreaking. There's a lot more security vulnerabilities with those software versions compared to the latest iOS 12.1.1 and iOS 12.1.2 in today's video. There really hasn't been anything released for iOS 12.1.1 or iOS 12.1.2 as it was just released today. It's way too early to have exploits or even proof of concept projects be released for these new firmwares. Now, one major thing that I wanted to recap and point out once again, if you guys missed it, with iOS 12.1.1, if we go to the security contents release notes right here, as you guys can see, these are all the bugs and vulnerabilities that were patched by Apple, and the kernel list just keeps going on and on and on. But this very last one right here is credited to Ian Beer of Google Project Zero. And as you guys know, Ian Beer is the main developer behind some of the major exploits that were used in the iOS 11 jailbreaks. He typically releases his information about the exploits and vulnerabilities he's found. So hopefully in the near future, we might actually have an update 
from Beer himself about an iOS 12 exploit, and again, this was just patched in iOS 12.1.1, so presumably it will work on iOS 12.1 and below. So, like I said throughout this video, iOS 12.1 or below is the sweet spot to be. Definitely do not update to 12.1.2 or 12.1.1, and iOS 12.1, if I recall correctly, is still being signed as of recording this video. iOS 12.1, right there. That one's still being signed by Apple, so if you guys accidentally updated to this latest public firmware, definitely downgrade, and if you guys want a tutorial on that, let me know. It's really easy to do. Basically, just download this IPSW file from this site right here. Again, links will be down below in this video's description. Plug your phone into your computer and restore manually via iTunes. Now, one thing that I thought was really interesting that might actually help towards a jailbreak, Apple just released their security notes on iOS 12 and Mac OS Mojave. The XNU code has been released. It's been open source. Now, this is not their entire code base, but this definitely does give us a little bit of insight of how iOS 12 and Mac OS functions on their latest softwares. Um, we'll have to see exactly what developers can dig and pull out of this release, but that was just released today. Now, one thing I wanted to clear up in this video as well, a lot of people have been asking me about this bug that was just released, this proof of concept, yet again, exploit that was released by this guy right here. Now, it's a Safari-based WebKit exploit. Again, it's just a proof of concept exploit, but it potentially could be used for a Jailbreak Me style of jailbreak once we have one out for iOS 12. Now, let me backtrack a little bit. The exploit that actually was released was written for Mac OS, but since Mac OS and iOS are so similar in how they're written and how it's actually run, this exploit could be ported over to iOS, and this has been done in the past. It does take some extra work by another developer to actually write and port this exploit over to iOS, but um, looking at the release notes and what was stated, even iOS 12.1.1 is supported. Now this right here again is a long shot. This potentially could be used in a jailbreak, but this again is not really going to lead to a jailbreak. It's something that could be used on top of the current jailbreak, but again, this is not going to be anything that's going to lead us to a said jailbreak utility. Anyway, it's interesting to see that we actually have a proof of concept project that potentially could work on iOS 12.1.1. But really, I just like to keep in the back of my mind things like this just prove that while they're far and few between, it is still possible to find vulnerabilities within current iOS versions even today. It is always going to be possible to jailbreak. It never was easy to create these jailbreak utilities for new iOS versions. We really took for granted these great teams that would actually release jailbreak utilities for public versions of iOS, basically zero-day jailbreaks. Unfortunately, today, we just have developers working on their own time for the passion of jailbreaking, finding exploits by teams like Google Project Zero that want to make iOS and every operating system more secure. We can find these little loopholes of taking these exploits and other ones that are just found by other developers on the internet. It's basically an entirely community-driven jailbreak scene as of today, and so that's why it's taking so long, and that's why when these exploits aren't released for, say, 90 days or until they're actually patched, we're never really Really ever going to see a jailbreak for a public or current version of iOS. It's always going to be for a older version. So that's again why guys do not update to these new versions of iOS that come out when they do. Some of their new features with certain updates may seem kind of worth it, but in the long run, you're just going to be waiting longer and longer for a jailbreak for your version if you just keep updating. So always stay on the lowest version of iOS that you can. Anyway, let's move on back to the iOS 11 jailbreak scene. There's just a couple of updates I wanted to share with you guys. The Uncovered Jailbreak actually received a major update this last week. Let me center this guy up right here. So Uncovered received some major updates like I was saying we're no longer in version 1.0 of the uncovered jailbreak but version 2.0 is actually very worth updating in my opinion guys because the number one annoying thing about using these jailbreak utilities is when you download them from sites like tweakbox or any other third-party downloading and signing service eventually you're going to receive this 
unable to verify app. And basically this means the developer certificate or enterprise certificate that they use to sign this app has expired. Apple has revoked it. And that's the number one thing that the new version of Uncover is going to stop. It's going to block revokes. And any app that actually has been revoked in the past is going to be unrevoked. All right, so when Uncover gets updated, it's always a good idea to kind of give it a couple days to see if any further updates are going to be pushed. Version 2.0 was released about a week ago now, and it's already received updates to 2.0.1 and 2.0.2 as of recording this video. So I just really quickly wanted to show you guys how to update your jailbreak utility. I don't know if you do, but I just delete it um, before updating um, just for the sake of making things simpler and making sure it's going to work on the first time. But then you just go back into the Tweakbox app. Again, the links to this will be down below in this video's description. Click out of the ad, click apps, click Tweakbox apps, and it's actually now right at the top. You guys can see the version right there, 2.0.2. .2. Double check that that is the latest before installing it. Sometimes this signing service takes about a day to actually update the latest version. But essentially, when you click install and click install again, now the updated version of the Uncovered Jailbreak will begin installing on your device. Again, you have to be in the non-jailbroken state. If you're in the jailbroken state, just restart your phone so you're no longer in the jailbroken state. We can go ahead and try to open this, but we're going to have to go to the Settings app once again and re-allow this certificate to run, going down to Profiles and Device Management and clicking on this Enterprise App Certificate and clicking Trust. And this, again, is what can sometimes be revoked or eventually will expire, or if Apple finds this, because you're really not supposed to use it in this way, if they find that certificate being used inappropriately, they will block it. So that is why they can expire even 24 to 48 hours after you just downloaded it. In any case, with this new version of the Uncovered Jailbreak version 2.0 right there, these certificate revokes will no longer be a problem for you. So basically, just to update, you just re-click the jailbreak button and it's going to now install all of the updates to this jailbreak utility and you guys will no longer have to deal with these revokes so that's why now that it's safe to update now that some of the initial bugs have been squashed i wanted to share with you guys how to update the uncovered jailbreak if you guys are interested it's super simple um, i just wanted to cover all bases here and make sure you guys know how to update it and there we go with the respring animation it looks like it completed successfully this is actually my first time installing it on this device right here, so we'll see if there's any outward facing changes, but I really wouldn't expect much. Most of these times, these updates are all entirely under the hood. But anyway, guys, there we go. We're back into the jailbroken state with the updated version of Uncover. Now, any app that we have that previously was revoked should just be able to launch right away. Anyway, I don't mean to keep extending this video longer and longer, but I just keep finding little things that I wanted to share with you guys. One awesome tweak that was just updated, it was a tweak called Apex 2 for iOS 10. Essentially, it lets you hide apps behind other apps like that. You can see if you have apps hidden behind them with these little grabbers right here, but you just swipe up or swipe down on it right there. It's an awesome alternative to folders. I just think it looks super sweet right there, and you can pick and choose custom apps right there. Um, Anyway, this one now for iOS 11 is called Zenth. It's pretty damn close to Apex right here. It's Apex 2 for iOS 10. It is $2, but it is well worth it. It's pretty damn close to the original tweak, and it was one of my favorites, so I just want to share with you guys that that's one of the latest tweaks that just came out. Pretty substantial one, in my opinion. But anyway, guys, I know that was kind of a lot to talk about in today's video regarding iOS 12.1.2. A lot of little minor updates for both the Uncovered Jailbreak as well as iOS and uh, all the exploits in the Apple world. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's update. If you did, definitely give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe for future updates. And if you guys have time, definitely check out our Best Tech Info website. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.